Hello, hi everybody. I hope you are so fantastic. So, and, and first, I want to say thank you, Paris, for giving me this opportunity to speak in front of you because I am sure that this information is going to be very useful for you and maybe you are going to change a little bit your mind how we see the world. Because, as you see here, I put this title, it's, I put Help Others by Improving Yourself. I think everybody here, everybody here wants to improve and want to help others. But here, we are going to see in a very specific way, all right? We are going to see that um, if you go vegan, if you become vegan, uh, you can help others and also you will be able to improve yourself and a lot of your qualities. Yes? Have you ever have you ever heard about beings? Please raise your hands. Yes? Everybody? Every, somebody here doesn't know, don't know about beings? <laughs> I think everybody knows about that. Yes. I am vegan. <laughs> That's the reason I am uh, I want to talk about this here. And so I want to introduce a little bit about me. I am from Chile. I am a medical student in my fifth year. And also I belong to different vegan organizations that we try to, to educate people that why and we, we, we try to, to share why vegan is so important in this moment of in, 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 in the life. One of the organizations is called the Green Team. Uh, this is a group of people that we try to show to the public that we can be very active person, very athlete persons, are athlete people, and uh, be vegan at the same time. Because there are a lot of myths that we, uh, people have. That, for example, uh, you can develop muscle mass while you are vegan, or you can uh, have a very high performance uh, physical uh, level if you're vegan. But during the lecture, we are going to figure out that it's not true. That you go, you can be vegan and have a lot of energy. You can be very um, active, and you will not going to die of protein deficiency. All right. Uh, well, uh, there are all, there, uh, there are two other organizations that are called Animal Living in Spanish and Vegetariano Sol. If we translate, if we translate it, it should be uh, free animal and today vegetarians, I think. But the thing, the important thing of this is, um, I, I know that here are a lot of uh, people that are from South America. And these two organizations are in, not just in Chile, they are in Argentina, they are in Peru, they are in Brazil, they are in Ecuador, and yes, I think that is. So if you want, if you are interested in a little bit about this, you can find this organization in South America. Yes. Well, we try, it has the same as here. They try to educate people and try to show that um, animal rights are so important and we should care about animals. All right? Because I think everybody likes animals. Yes? Have, uh, I think a lot of people here have pets. Who, who, who else who here has pets? Please raise your hand. Wow, a lot of people here, yeah? So I think all of you love your, your, your pets. They are part of the family, yes? So now I'm going to, to, in this lecture, I'm going to connect with your pets. And how we can, we can uh, make some, um, we can change some thought about the animals and how we see them, all right? Yes, yeah, so well, well, there I am in some activities of the organizations. So I want to start this lecture with this quote. Investing in yourself is the best investment you will ever make. It will not only improve your life, it will improve the life of all, the, of all those around you. Yes, I think uh, everybody is, uh, is agree with that. Uh, somebody here uh, doesn't agree with this? Is this agree with this quote? Raise your hand, please. Yes, I think everybody wants to improve in your life. Everybody wants to help others. And I think the best way to do it is by improving at first ourselves. So, as I told you before, uh, one of 
the way is we go via because if we go via we are going to develop different uh, qualities but sometimes we can do it uh, wrongly so now I'm going to, to tell you how we can do it correctly and in that way we will be able to improve ourselves and also help others in a better way alright so as I was telling you for example if you want to be a doctor or if you want to be a teacher uh, you want to help others, but also you have to improve yourself because in that way you will be able to to, to make them better persons uh, and develop uh, their qualities of the topic they are they want to improve. Yes, for example, if I am a teacher, I will try to best to be the best teacher to uh, how to teach right the way. If I want to be a doctor, I will try to learn as much as I can to try to uh, help people to be healthier. Yes. So, but it's not only about the the subject that we are um, learning. I think we have to um, grow in an integrate integrate way. Integrate way. Uh, I mean, we have to develop different uh, qualities. For example, uh, positive. We have to be patient, passionate, uh, respectful, healthy, emotionally intelligent. So it's not just about uh, develop like if I am, uh, if I like mathematics, if I like math, I'm going to just um, worry about improving math. I'm going to improve all of the characters and quality of me because in that way, if we develop more qualities, <coughs> we are going to have more positive impact in others. So again, while you develop more qualities in your life more positive impact you will have in others so in that way we will be able to help others in a better way and that's the reason why I think if we go one way is, it is to go vegan or if we decide to go vegan or if we decide to do the best as we can never I push somebody to go vegan, never I have never do that everybody has to choose in this lecture, I'm going to just give you the information and you have to choose according to the information I'm going to give. Alright? So, everybody wants to be happy, of course. And we have to be this by self-love. Because if, we, uh, if, you, if you love yourself, you're going to develop positive qualities. I'm not going to develop biases that I'm going to show now, as I'm going to show now. Because if we sell love, we're going to uh, develop virtues instead of vices. Vices are, are for example, um, apathy, um, uh, indifference, a lot of things that are not going to be um, uh, useful for us if you want to find happiness. If we, if we develop virtues, we're going to find happiness and our purpose in life, our sense in life. Well, as I, as I was telling you, some examples or virtues are gratitude, compassion, passion, enthusiasm, generosity, humility, empathy, and respect. And in the other side are the opposite um, aspect or vices, we can say. And I put this specific qualities or virtues because they are related with veganism, believe it or not. Because for example, veganism, or most of us, we try to be very compassionate to the world. We try to be very, uh, we, have, we try to have a lot of empathy to the world. And not just with animals, also we try to be very empathy. We have to, to we, have, we try to have a lot of empathy with the, with the people. So, they are very uh, good qualities if we develop them. For example, how we could how we could connect veganism with self-love. When we self-love, we are going to try to uh, to make as much as we can to be healthy or to be more uh, intelligent or more like to develop as much as we can positive qualities of us. 
Yes. For example, if I want to be healthy, sometimes, uh, well, in some point, I will, I will think. So, yeah, I, if I want to be healthier as much as I can, I'm going to decide to um, to choose a plant-based diet. A plant-based diet is is, is like it's a diet of veganism because veganism is not a diet. All right, veganism is not a diet. It's a lifestyle. And plant-based diet is part of that. And it includes a whole food plant-based diet. If we self-love, it's so important this, because if we self-love, we're going to avoid like a bad habits, for example, smoke. If we consider that, we're going to avoid a bad habits and we will try to be the best that we can. And then we are going to realize that we don't need animal products. And I'm going to show you why. All right, I'm going to show you why. Then I will, I, we are going to realize that your choice matters because if I live, if I in, and if I love myself, I want to say that my my choice matters in this world. And if my choice matters, I want to say after, well, uh, maybe my choice have an impact in the world. So I want to have, I want to care about the, my world. And then I'm not going to say it's only my world. You're going to say that it's ah, it's our world. So I'm going to realize that. We are going to realize that uh, our food choices and habits has an impact in the world. And then I'm going to show you the, the magic facts that are occurring right now in some places of the world. And then, of course, I'm going to realize that the choice, my choice affects others. My choice affects how animals are being treated. How uh, people uh, is being treated because, for example, can you imagine a person who works eight hours per day killing animals? Do you think that is that is uh, great? I think nobody wants to work in that kind of things. But when you, when uh, we decide or we choose. And on those, we are supporting that people should work um, in that kind of jobs, killing animals eight hours per day, five uh, days per week. So we are going to realize that our choice really matters in our in the world, and it have an, and it have in, an impact in other places. So now I want to I want to tell you what is veganism. Veganism is the way of living which seeks to truth as far as is possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing or any other purpose. Alright? And here can came come the question that but if you go vegan you are going to to harm animals anyway. Because how do, how can you avoid vaccine for example or medicine? Because medicine if you want to develop a medicine or a drug, um, you have to do experiment with animals. But that the reason is the definition is as far as it's possible. Sometimes we won't be able to to reduce the damage to zero, but we try to do the best. That's the reason because vegan try to do the best as they can. Sometimes. Um, you are going to make mistakes. It's like the life. You are going to make mistakes sometimes, but you have to try to do the best as we can. All right. And veganism is against speciesism. <laughs> speciesism. Do you know what is speciesism? Do you know it? Raise your hand, please, if you know what is speciesism. That is a term that is not very no, no. But I think you know what is racist, yes? Everybody knows what is racist, yes? Nice. And everybody knows what is sexist, right? Yes. So now, here I am showing that racist, sexism, and speciesism are the same. The three are moral discriminations. Moral discriminations are when we think that we are superior to somebody else. For example, in racism, People used to think that black people is superior, are superior, superior to uh, black 
people. And that is totally uh, wrong, of course. And in the same, at the same, with sexism, people use who think that men, for example, are superior to women. And that is totally stupid too. It's the same here with the species. The species is a belief where we, where we think that uh, humans are superior to animals, but just because we think that, there is no any logical reason. It's the same with racism and sexism. There is no logical reason. So why we think, so why, if we don't want to be species, species or sexist on racist, we are choosing some, some, some choices that are part of these discriminations. The next picture is, is telling us if you love animals called pets, like your dogs, your cats, why is animals called dinner when they have the same feeling, they have the same, uh, they want to live as other humans, uh, and, uh, as other individuals in the world, like dogs and cats. Why? So this is the basic of veganism, is we are against species. And I think eh, nobody wants to be, want to discriminate others. Nobody wants to discriminate black people or women. The same here. So, if we are against sexism and racism, we should, we should be against racism too. We should. We should. So, after you understand the beginnings, you, you, will came, you will come with a lot of questions like, where do you get your protein? It's the most common question. I have been vegan for four years and still people uh, ask me, where do you get your protein? And I will never be bored or tired to, under, to answer that question because I like to, understand, to answer those questions. Or for example, where do you get your calcium? Because <laughs> where do you usually get your calcium? What is the most common food where to get calcium? Can somebody tell me? Milk. Milk. Yes, we have been told, taught that calcium com comes from milk and nothing else. And protein for meat and iron for meat. So some people believe that fish are not animal. Fish are animal too and have feeling. They have a nervous system that makes them to feel uh, suffer. So fish also uh, are very important and also are important for the planet and for the ocean. Right now, fish are caught in a dramatic way and we are destroying the oceans just because we want to eat fish in a very brutal way. Despite to my belief, one of these circles is larger than the <laughs> is larger than the other. So I want you to need to do is raise your hand if you believe the red cycle is larger than the other. Please raise your hand if you believe the race, the red side is larger than the node. Yeah? Who believes that the red one is larger than the blue one? Who believes that the blue one is larger than the red one? Thank you. 
with that idea. So yes, they are equal. They are not, they are not larger than the other. But what I want to, to show you here is something like people can tell you a lie and you are going to believe it. What happens if that lie is uh, that lie is taught you since you are a child? And you believe that lie all of your life. And then that lie uh, it becomes part of your culture. And what happens if that culture passes that lie to the next generation? It becomes tradition. So I want you to, to, to teach you that not because something is tradition is going to be the truth, the truth, or it's going to be more acceptable. Alright? Because a lie told often often becomes the truth. As we used to believe that, for example, we used to believe the human population used to believe that the earth was the center of the galaxy. And some, in some moments, one guy came and said that the, no, the earth revolves around the sun. And other people say that, no, you are a Lunati, you are, you are wrong, you are stupid. The same uh, past, uh, happened after. A person come, came here and said that slavery it, it wasn't necessary. And a lot of people was against him. And then came a woman that said that women have the same rights that men. Of course, they have the same rights, but a lot of people uh, still in this, in this, in this um, time uh, still believe that men have more rights than women, and that is totally wrong. And now some people like me are saying that animals deserve the same respect as humans, that a dog deserve the same respect that a, that a cow. So it's the same. It's the same. If you told enough time a lie, it's come, it becomes the truth. So not just because something is, is tradition, it's going to it's, it's just it's has to be it has to be true or morally acceptable. For example, in this time, a lot of these two situations are happening right now. Do you know that female Gender mutilation uh, happened, happened in different countries or, of Africa. Do you know that? Do you know how, how to hear about that? Yes. What do you think about that? It's totally wrong, it's stupid, because it's going to affect the health, the health of, the, of the female. So it's, it's totally wrong. And do you know that in some Asian countries, people eat dogs and cats? Do you know that? What do you think about that? Can somebody can tell me about that? Is, some, is somebody here from Asia? <laughs> Alright, but it's just to have an idea. Alright? But for sure, people who is from this part of the world are going to think that it's totally uh, bad, it's totally, uh, how can I say, it? stupid, because a lot of people here have a dog and they won't be able to eat a dog because this dog is like part of his family. So, as I, as I am uh, showing you here, not because some traditions are, are part of the culture, are morally acceptable. Alright? How I understood this? Because I realized, I realized about a term called Carnies. Have you heard about carnies? No? I think nobody, because it's a, this is not a very good, um, it's not a very known term. Carnies, <laughs> as same as veganism and vegetarianism, is a belief. But carnies is the dominant belief system is in our world that makes us to believe that eating animals is necessary 
because we need some nutrient for animal product, or it's normal because everybody do that, or it's natural because humans uh, have done that for millions of years. So it's a system, I believe, that makes us believe that we need to eat some animal products. Alright. But then I, I doubt that, I, I question that thing, and I started to, to research if that thing is true. If we really need animals, and if we really need animal products, etc., to be healthy and to help the planet and to help the, 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 the animals. Because at the beginning, I started, I started in my uh, 20s, but at the beginning I was vegetarian. I, I couldn't 